I'm now going to introduce you to calendars as an automated area within Microsoft Project. Calendars are very powerful within Project and there are multiple areas of calendars which affect automation. The example I'm going to show you first is setting up calendars to make Project run the way you want it to run. Other areas of calendars which will be covered will be things like resource calendars setting up the work and week for a resource. So there are multiple areas of calendars within project that affect the automation. Now within project, the work and week is naturally set from a Monday to a Friday by default. So that's the default of Microsoft project. So the white means the work in, the work in week and work in area. Project calls it work in. Now the gray, is known as non-working. So Saturday and Sunday, the SNS, that means non-working. So that's the default of Microsoft Project. Now many organizations don't work to the default. They might have a working week which is totally different to the default. It could be a Wednesday to a Monday. It could be a Friday to a Thursday. So there are different projects out there which run away from the default. So we can't always expect project to run against the default if we want to get it correct. So this is where in my classes that I run in training sessions, where I get feedback from people who attend my courses that they've struggled with Microsoft Project because they haven't set this up correctly. And then they find they don't get the right results out of Microsoft Project. So we, we are now going to learn to set up the calendar within Project to make Project run the way you want it to run. The first thing you need to do before we use calendars is customize settings within Project. Now, those of you who might have been through my step-by-step -step approach, this would have been step two of my step-by-step -step approach going through Microsoft Project. If this is the first video you're looking at and you haven't been through the step-by-step -step approach. I'm now going to show you how to customize Microsoft Project. So this is File tab, Options. It's under the Schedule area. Now underneath there, we can see the work week starts on a Monday. There are eight hours per day and there's 40 hours per week. So these are the calculations projects working against. So for example, the Monday now I can see in any of these white areas might not be my start date of the week. For example, I might start on a Wednesday. Well, if I were to change the Monday to a Wednesday now, and I'm not gonna click okay just yet, and say now my, my working week was a 37.5 hours, so instead of 40, could be 37.5, and my working day could be 7.5 hours per day. So I'm making the changes here now at the customization stage in the schedule area. Now, if I click OK now, I can see I've already set it to Wednesday, and I can now see that the, the timings have been, have been changed according to the timings that I want to use. Now, when I click OK, I want you to just observe the white area here just to see what happens. You might see a little flicker, but you won't see much happen at this stage. So I'm going to click OK now. Right, now what happened? The work week moved on a bit. So the week has aligned itself to a Wednesday, but the white area is still displaying that you're starting the week on a Monday. So project now has only been updated in one area, and that's the customized area. We now need to use calendars to make this white and gray change to our specific requirements. Now the way to do this with calendars is through the project tab. So project tab, then we're going to go into change working time. Now in change working time, there's an area called for calendar. Well, the standard calendar is what runs Microsoft Project. Now if I click the drop down arrow, there's another two calendars which Microsoft has by default. So it's the 24 hour calendar for companies who work around the clock. There's a night shift calendar that has different timings and the standing calendar. We're going to keep it on the standard calendar for Microsoft Project and we are going to affect the timings of the standard calendar. So I'm going to leave it on the standard calendar. Now all I'm going to do now is set the working week 
to be the way I want it to work. So under work weeks, the little area here, so I'm gonna click the little area here for work weeks, and I'm gonna leave it on the default and just click details. Now under the details, you can see that the Wednesday we now set at the customization part that we went through just now, is now actually aligned to a Wednesday. So I, even though I've, I've now just opened the calendar, I can see a project is clever enough to know really that I'm setting it to work on a Wednesday. Now I might want to, this, this, pro, this particular project to work Wednesday to a Sunday, whereby Monday and Tuesday are actually non-working in this example. So with Wednesday highlighted, I'm gonna hold my shift key down and I'm gonna click on Sunday. I'm now gonna set the third option to control calendars. So I'm gonna click the third option, set days to these specific working times. And I'm now gonna say, okay, I'm now gonna set it to the 7.5 hour working day that I set when I customized this. So we're gonna say that the, in this example, that the that this particular company is gonna start half an hour later. So eight o'clock is gonna be 8.30. So I'm gonna just type in 08 full colon 30. So the morning session gives me 8.30 to 12, that's three and a half hours. The afternoon session is now one to five, that's four hours. And that's where my seven and a half hours is now coming from. So I've now aligned my calendar to be the same as my customization area. So they're both now fully aligned. So I know the working week is about to change, Wednesday to Sunday, and all the hours are now gonna change according to my new settings. Well, before I click OK, if we look at what the settings are at present, I can now see it's working eight to 12 and one to five. Now, when I click OK, you'll see 8.30 to 12 at the top. So instead of 8, you see 8.30 to 12, and the 1 to 5 will remain the same. But what you'll notice is in the calendar, this white and gray area is going to change. And we'll see what happens as soon as I click OK. Right, so now everything has gone white. So project right now doesn't know when it's non-working is. So we've now told it when it's working week is, we now need to tell it when it's non-working. So the same idea, default, details, and I now need to tell it non-working. So the non-working is gonna be the Monday and the Tuesday. So click on Monday, shift key down, click on Tuesday, and I'm now gonna tell them this is non-working. So I'm telling project Monday and Tuesday now, I'm not working, it's the second option and then click OK. Now I can see my Monday and my Tuesday are grayed out, and that's non-working. So any gray I click on is telling me non-working. Any white area I click on is telling my working times, and Saturday, Sunday, they're all working. So there's my Saturday, there's a Sunday, it's telling me I'm working. Monday, I'm not working. Tuesday, and not working. So now the calendar has been set up ready for use in this particular example. I'm now gonna click OK, and we're gonna see the change within the chart area of Gantt chart. And there we go. So all the white area is now starting on a Wednesday through to a Sunday, and that's your working. Monday and Tuesday are grayed out, that's non-working. So project is now set up in this example to work as we want the project to work in this example. So this concludes the use of calendars in setting Microsoft Project to work using a standard calendar. We will be looking at other areas of calendars and I will be carrying on with calendar examples in the next example.